I'm out evaluating emergence on a couple of soybean fields today. Certainly seeing a few minor issues on the super early planted fields due to insect pressure, uh, chilling injury, etc. because we've had a pretty cold, wet spring. But for the most part, those fields are going to be all right. The larger issue that I'm seeing a lot of is definitely crusting, um, specifically with fields planted the week after the May long weekend. So there was a really nice planting window there, followed by about five days of rain. So we had a lot of water laying in fields. Um, so especially on heavier textured ground, you get that hard layer that forms on the soil surface. And soybean plants just struggle to pull the cotyledons up through the ground. With beans, the goal is to get to canopy closure as fast as possible. Once they start to flower, your vegetative growth slows way down. So if you have bare ground in between the rows at that point, you're missing out on sunlight capture and giving up yield potential. Soybeans have a tremendous ability to compensate for poor emergence by branching out to fill the space. Um, and they can achieve up to their full yield potential with even a 40% stand reduction. So in many cases, sticking with your original stand is going to be your best bet. But if you're looking at your soybean field starting to come up and going, oh, this doesn't look good, uh, the first place to start would be doing a stand assessment. To get an idea of how many plants per acre you're dealing with, use this chart to find the length of row that equals one one thousandth of an acre. Or if you prefer to use a hula hoop, just check the diameter on this chart. When you're doing your stand counts, make sure to wait a few days past the beginning of emergence to get a true idea of how many plants are there because there might be some late emergers. Um, and dig within the row and remove trash to see if you have any plants coming up that you can't see. If you're looking at injured plants that have emerged through a crust, they will survive as long as the hypocotyl is not severed and at least one cotyledon is intact. Once you know how many plants per acre you're dealing with, you can use this table to estimate the yield potential of your existing stand. A very general rule is if there's at least 100,000 plants there, a replant is not necessary. Um, if you're on a super heavy clay, I like to see more plants than that, closer to that 120,000 plants per acre. Um, and if you're on lighter ground, you could probably get away with actually a little bit less than 100,000. If you decide to keep your reduced stand, make weed control a top priority. Thin soybean stands are a great place for problem weeds like Canada fleabane and water hemp to thrive. So just make sure you're keeping a, keeping an eye on them and keeping on top of it so you don't have a huge problem next year. And if you do decide to replant, the priority needs to be getting those rows closed as fast as possible. So that might mean planting at a bigger row width, uh, increasing your population, or planting a branchier variety. If your beans aren't out of the ground yet and you're wanting to break up the crust with a rotary hoe or a drill, dig down to make sure they aren't in the crook stage where they're right just about to poke out of the ground. Um, because if they are and you sever the hypocotyl, they won't survive. If you do decide to do a crust busting pass, try to do it in the heat of the day when plants are less brittle. So even if they are getting close to emergence, you're much less likely to injure them. If you'd like to just patch in poor areas of your field, go in with about half the population of what you originally planted because there will be more plants surviving from the original stand than you probably realize initially. I usually suggest driving at a bit of an angle to what was originally planted if you can or offset your GPS to fill in the rows and stick with the same variety that you originally planted. If you need help assessing your soybeans, you know where to find me.